question number 20. In the diagram below, the vertices of triangle ABC are A03, B4.56 and C10.50. Points P35 and Q91.5 lie on lines AB and BC respectively. So you can see the diagram there. A part 1. Now you're supposed to find AQ then 2 CP. So like us to begin with those two first. So in order to get AQ and CP, something that you need to identify in the diagram that all these vectors are vectors with reference from the origin. They are position vectors like A is a position vector because it comes from O. Then C is the same. So to work it um, the best way possible, it's good to join all these uh, points and give their position vectors like P. You join it to the origin. Then you have uh, Q. This is X. Join it to the origin so that you can have the position vectors now given the position vector uh, if you have a position vector OA you have a position vector OQ you can even join OQ these we join OQ like that so OQ is there so given OQ and OA uh, if you require to find AQ, this is what you do. We get OQ minus OA. If you have the position vector of A as OA, position vector of Q as OQ, to find AQ, you get OQ minus OA. So in this case, uh, OQ, OQ is uh, 9, 1.5. So 9, 1.5. Then OA, OA is a 0, 3. So this will be 9 subtract 0 is 9. 1.5 subtract negative 3, negative 1.5. So that is AQ. CP, we get the position vector of P, which is uh, OP, minus the position vector of C, which is uh, OC. So OP, OP, OP is here, 3, 5, subtract OC, OC, OC is 10.5, 0, subtract these, 3 minus uh, 10.5, you get negative 7.5, then 5 minus 0 is 5. So that is how you do it. So let's go to part B. Part B. Lines AQ and CP intersect at X such that CX is equals to KCP and AX is equals to MAQ where K and M are scalars. 1. By expressing OX in two different ways, determine the values of K and M. So go to the diagram. Notice uh, where X is. Then you're given that CX, you're given that uh, CX, CX is equals to KCP and uh, AX, AX is equals to M, AQ. Now using these two, you're supposed to express OX, OX, the position vector of X, in two different ways. So in each of those ways that you're going to use, the first way, you must utilize CX. The other way, you must utilize AX. So I'll begin. How do I get OX by using CX? Which route do I follow? I'll follow this route. OC. I'll follow this route. OC plus CX. By doing so, I'll have used CX. So OC plus CX. So the first expression, therefore. Uh, the first expression, OX is equals to. OC plus CX. That is the first one. And uh, already let's complete this. OC. OC. So OC is here. Where is OC? OC is here. So position vector of C 10.50. So this one will be 10.50. Then plus CX. Now be careful here. CX. 
CX is KCP. K, C, P, C, P. C, P is here. We already obtained C, P as a negative 7.5, 5. So we can knock out this now. 10.5 plus this will be K minus multiply by 7.5 B, negative 7.5 K. Then 0 plus will be 0 plus 5 K. So this one simplifies to 10.5, negative 7.5k, then 0 plus 5k, you get 5k. So we have that now, it's done. So that one is done. So the other way, the other way of expressing OX is by ensuring that we utilize AX. So which route do I follow to utilize this? OX will be given by OA plus ax now i have utilized the x so oa so oa plus the x so oa position vector of uh, a oa is here it is 0 3 0 3 plus ax look at this ax is equals to m aq aq and we got aq aq is here 9 negative 1.5 so working out this you get 0 plus 9 times m is only 0 plus 9 plus m will begin 9m then 3 then plus m times negative 1.5 you get negative 1.5 m so now you have the two expressions of ox you have got the two expressions for OX. The first expression is here and the second one is here. These two expressions are showing the same thing. That is OX. So I can take uh, 10.5 minus 7.5K. This is 5K. That expression is equivalent to the other one here. They express the same thing. 9M equate them. 3 minus 1.5 m like that so once you equate them you're showing that this one is ox and this one is ox so now you can form two simultaneous equations by taking the first row the first row here is 10 point 10.5 minus 7.5 k is equals to 9 m is the first row then this one is 5 uh, k is equals to 3 minus 1.5 m so these are simultaneous equations and you can reorganize these equations to form um, uh, to, to make them easier to solve like um, i can try to eliminate these decimal places you know this one is uh, 10 and i have 10 and i have um, this 10.5 10.5 is like uh, 21 over 2 this one is 21 over 2 minus 7.5 is uh, 15 over 2. K is equals to 9M. I can eliminate multiply both side by 2. This will give uh, 21 is equal, minus 15K is equals to multiply. This one will be 18. Mm, this is something, uh, yeah, is 18M. So I think when you do it like this, you make it easier to solve. It is like that. You make it easier to solve. So, let me see. So, once you organize these, you will get uh, 18M. 18M plus 15K is equals to 21. That is the first equation. So, the second one, you can do it the same way. You can reorganize this one. 5K is equals to 3 minus 1.5 uh, 1.5 is the same as 3 over 2 so you do if you simplify this one again uh, by removing this uh, decimal you will get a uh, negative 3m negative 3m then uh, minus 10 minus 10k is equals to negative 6 I'm simply taking 1.5 
as 3 over 2. Take it as 3 over 2. Then multiply each term by 2. Uh, so that you can eliminate this uh, decimal. Make it easier to solve. And then reorganize it. This is what you're going to get. So now you can see you have two simultaneous equations. You can multiply this one by the second one. I want to eliminate uh, M. So I have to make this one uniform. 18 M and negative 3 to make that multiply this one by negative 6. So I have uh, 18 M plus 15 K, the first one. Uh, is equals to 21. Then when I multiply everything here, each term by negative 6, I'll get uh, 18m. Then minus um, 60. We give positive 60. K is equals to 36. So if I subtract, I'll get this one is uh, negative 45. K is equals to negative 15. So you notice here, that k will be 1 over 3. k will be 1 over 3. So k is 1 over 3. So if you get k is 1 over 3, you can substitute uh, in one of these equations. Uh, you can substitute here 18m plus 15k. k is 1 over 3. k is 1 over 3 is equals to 21. When you do that substitution, you get uh, M, uh, M to B, so 18M plus 15, the 1 over 3 is equals to 21, M will give you 8 over 9. So now you have uh, identified the values of K and M, uh, K 1 over 3, M is 8 over 9. Well, the last part of the question now, determine the exact coordinates of point X. The exact coordinates of point x so this is what you're required to get the coordinates now to do that there are several ways of doing that but the easiest way is by using uh, whatever we have here already let's see whatever we have here we already have ax so we can use ax to get this ax is equals to so we know that ax is equals to m a q and uh, ax will be given by we already have m m is uh, 8 over 9 then we already have aq don't forget we have aq aq was here 9 negative 1.5 9 negative 1.5 like that so ax will be given by uh, 8 over 9 times 9 you get 8 then 8 over 9 times negative 1.5 you will get that one is a negative 4 over 3 34 over 3 now having ax and uh, already this is a this ax is here and uh, q is here because i'm using this line here a x and q so having these uh, because these are i've used here uh, to get the exact coordinates of x and let x to be represented by a and b and since I have AX as 8, negative 4 over 3, uh, this is how I can do it. I can do it like this. Eh? How do I get AX? AX, I'll take the position vector of X, which is uh, AB. Subtract the position vector of A. Position vector of A, and forget it is here. 0, 3. 0, 3. And this one should give me AX. And AX is, AX is uh, 8 negative 4 over 3 so when you look at this now this equation to help me get the values of a and b so a minus 0 is a is equals to 8 already have that then b minus 3 this is b minus 3 is equals to negative 4 over 3 so b is equals to negative 4 over 3 plus 3 and b will be given by 1 and 2 that so remember you had let the position vector of uh, x to be a b therefore the coordinates of uh, the coordinates of uh, x will be a which is uh, 8 and uh, b which is uh, 1 and 2 that so that is 
how you're supposed to solve that question.